Well, tonight there is APRO and anger in the coastal city of, of Mombasa. We've got their story going. Um, as residents there raise concern over the dilapidated state of the county roads following the complaints, our team in Mombasa undertook the assignment of assessing the status of some of the roads and the findings are saddening. That notwithstanding, the Kenya National Highways Authority, Kenha, has been declined to respond, has declined to, to respond to our queries on the matter the last couple of days. Our coastal reporter, Fatou Mabugu, has that story. The state of the roads in Mombasa following the heavy rains is dire. Most roads which had been patched up are now dotted with massive water-filled potholes that are a nuisance and a danger to motorists. The trouble of the increasingly dangerous roads is felt more by public service vehicles operators who now decry expensive frequent repairs to their vehicles. Residents are also up in arms. To the international hotels, we have million moja na wakubwa na masies na watu wanatumia barabara hii wakienda maseminas wakienda kulala mahotelini hii tatizo waoni ni tatizo kuna lot of potholes definitely kama kuna potholes nyingi kuna venye inahinda the transport sector to many the poor state of the roads is due to poor maintenance practices by the county government even then it would appear that most locals are unaware that roads construction and maintenance is a shared responsibility between the county government Kenya Urban Roads Authority Kura and Kenya National Highways Authority Kenha there are those roads that are under the jurisdiction of the county government but there are also those that are in the jurisdiction of national government agencies. Like the Bombolulu Road, for example, is under the you know, Kenya National Highway Authority. We appreciate that it is in a not a so good state, but we have intervened as county. The problem here is not new. Many motorists being forced to avoid potholes in a not so busy town. Transporters are bearing the brunt as their losses mount due to accidents, breakdowns, and lost time. This here is Sabasaba, a busy Mombasa environ along the main Mombasa Nairobi Highway. The condition of the road, not too different from what other locals are experiencing in the rest of Mombasa County. Public service vehicle operators have raised concerns over the dummy section of the road at Bombolulu along the Mombasa Malindi Highway that has been worsened by the heavy downpour. They say they are on the road with the passengers by day and with the mechanics by night. <laughs> Magari karibu yote sasa yako gereji kwa sababu hii barabara hii. Kila siku wanakuja wanakuja wanatuangalia hapa na hawategenezi hii barabara paka sasa hii bado iko hivi hivi. The national government budget allocation towards construction of roads and bridges was slashed from 103.47 billion to 77.94 billion as the state scaled down the number of kilometers for most of the ongoing projects by as much as 75%. This development has delayed and in worst cases even halted the progress of major infrastructural projects. Back in Mombasa town, Meritini, Jomvo and Bombolulu and other areas that share the common maintenance of dilapidated roads, it looks like it's going to be a long wait given that Kenha, which is bestowed with the responsibility of dealing with these roads, has evaded our questions all through running away from every opportunity we granted them to respond and shifting the blame from one person to another. Fatma Bugu, NTV, Mombasa.